morning, so that's challenge day 10. Um, feeling really good, having a lot of energy again, um, slight weight loss, about half a kilo I think. Um, yeah, I just have a lot of er energy. I woke up yesterday morning around 8 I think. I went to bed at around 2 in the morning. Uh -huh. um, saw a lot of people yesterday. Um, it was wonderful. Somehow I just feel so much, feel so much um, emotions, good stuff, uh, uh, intense stuff. I'm really working on or practicing when I'm like present. And when I'm open, and when I'm not, when I'm contracted in some kind of way, stuck in my head, or stuck in a mind fuck, believe in my own fears, like you know, people don't like me, people don't love me, whatever. And I'm somehow more aware of when it happens. So it's really nice. Um, I also respond quite emotional when I feel triggered in interactions with my partner or I feel annoyed by my kids pretty easily. <laughs> or I'm more aware of it. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm more aware of it and it happens anyway. But <laughs> it's an interesting process. Mm. Um, I just try to observe what's going on. And what is interesting is both last night and the night before I was at a place with groups of people and there was there were a lot of snacks like chocolate, fruit, juice, wine, all kinds of things, like all kinds of things I usually really like to eat. And right now the food was just no focus. Like last night at some point people we're getting hungry when it got late. Um, I just had no focus on food. I saw the food, and for a moment I was like, oh yeah, that looks good, I would like some. I was like, oh yeah, but I'm not going to. And that was fine. And usually I would really have a focus, like, part of my head is thinking about food, and thinking about what to grab, what people would think if I get some. So, that neediness for food is diminishing, and that's really nice. That's really nice. Maybe it comes back, I don't know. This morning I was making sandwiches with cheese and sandwiches with peanut butter for my kids. And I could smell the cheese and smell the peanut butter. And last night was even worse, my partner made a Mexican um, dinner for himself and the kids with and nachos and cheese from the oven and the smell of melted cheese is just oh, so good so so good and part of me wants it wants to have it and you know like you want to get to the end you want to have it all you want to eat it feel it inside your belly but then I realized that I could just enjoy the smell and let go of the neediness for eating. I just enjoy the smell. <laughs> and then the neediness for food just, just goes. Yeah, it just goes. And it feels like similar for other things in life, for instance, with sex. Cuddling and sex, like when you give someone a hug. When I give someone a hug, and I like the person very much in the past, I would be very much focused on how far can I let things go? How far can this connection go? And there would be intention and neediness of getting it all. And I already have been working on letting go of that neediness over the past years. And it makes that I can uh, really enjoy a cuddle or a hug 
or kissing or touching without needing a spoon. It's not that it's never there, it is. Still is. But then I can observe that and just be away and picking. I'm wanting something. <laughs> I feel a neediness for this. And just smile at myself and say, oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel you, girl. <laughs> I feel your desire. I feel your longing, and it's fine. So I have sometimes with the food, it's the same. I just long for it. And it's fine. I don't have to do anything with the longing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, and even more curls, it's crazy. I love it. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can really recommend all of you to try this. <laughs> and now commercial break, if you want to try this, let me know. <laughs> so fun, so good. <laughs> Have a good day. Sending love to all of you. Mm.